art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Think, Delson, think. <sighs> Party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse oh uh, uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the keys. <laughs> you're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I cannot believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. And the plan is working perfectly. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying and to cause... assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do talking this, about? You won't just let me be who I am. Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're gonna say us from. It to you. Really? Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. How's the military doing here? Need some help here. Uh, Reggie? Guy here needs some help. Man, I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you all right? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, let him go. Shit. Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, I said I don't want to hurt nobody.
bridge. I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What's happening to me? God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! No. I gotta get through here. What is going on? Reggie! Okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Yeah. Okay. Okay, just... Just help me push! Oh, dear God. No, no, no! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're all right. You're all right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Gotta get out there. There is a bio so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't. Just promise me you won't do that. Okay. Hey, just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? Because it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Wait, he's not... Vince, good to know. Not good! Wow, that should have hurt. Betty! Where are Hold on, Betty! Spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty! You gotta get out of here, lady! Stay away from I'm me! I'm trying to help no, you, lady! Stay away from me! Stop! Delson! Ah! I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me! You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now! Good, I'm gone! Not until you fix this first! I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. 
when I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. <laughs> I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! Kid, back off! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid! A bioterrorist! Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life! And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you! Not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. Day you face coming, and she knows I'm on to her plan. You ain't listening. Back the hell off. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well. Whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Listen, just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute, stop us talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... Try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. <laughs> good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay.
Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Well, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. Ah! <sighs> 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 I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened no, in there! No! Betty, don't! Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? What? I said, I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from, from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tell him. Ah! So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. into a hospital? Brooke Augustine, head of the Department of Unified Protection. As the DOP How long have I been out? Week now, there is still no sign of any progress. We will, of course, continue to follow the story and we'll have the very latest for you coming up. For now, I'm Charles Sandall, US TV News. Turn that damn thing off. People are sleeping here. Nick, man, what the hell happened? Did anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her? Oh my god. Betty. Delson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly-piggly. You're a good boy. Just 
happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. It's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey, don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know what you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm-hmm. Just see. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's a good thing more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? Wait, think about it. You'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, Maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero, you know. what, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dale, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? Shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it.
Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing. <laughs> this is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not going to stop this bad boy either. Man, this, oh, this must be the mothership. Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep, new. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle. Right, some in the police force. No, if no, 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 no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. That's this it. is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not. Please. All right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go need... play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. Okay, yeah, that could definitely be habit forming. Yeah, this should do the trick. I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Let's get I... up here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that's stuck. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. We got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what, am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go! Sir! Just give me a second! Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. GPS tracking on your phone, in case we get separated. Oh, you mean like, right now? Attention. The scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge, by order of the DUP, will begin shortly. All vehicles and individuals are ordered to... Huh, that sounds like useful information. Nelson, I got the aid workers across... 
the DUP. Clearing the bridge. Coming back for you, so... That's you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey! Hey! You guys need any help? Oh, shit. A bioterrorist! Hey! Hey! It's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Hey, hey, look, man, I just want to get through the tunnel. Give up, okay? Just don't hurt me! See? We're not all monsters. Spread the word. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Reggie? Oh man, answer me! Oh. My. God. This was a bridge. I'm coming, Reg. Core relay, work your magic. Another shot. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. Reggie? Nelson, what's this I hear about you and your brother taking off for Seattle? It's really not a good time, Betty. Okay, you just be careful. And have fun. Okay, I will. Bye. Pitching are we, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Did you get out? Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, 
For all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. So normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We I can did. take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. We'll do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? Look, these DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you, that natural vile terrorists have, but the government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. How long did you say I was out for? One week. Wow. That means the DUP put all of this up in... Yep. Oh, they've kept busy. Once we're through, I'll check with a couple of my cop buddies and try and get access to the police databases. In the meantime, I need you to just lay low. It might spook them if I show up with a bioterrorist. Okay, boss man. Registered firearm. I'm a police officer. Of course. Hey, so won't let me on his bus, won't let me meet his friends. I'm fine. Dandy. Uh, just like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got something. Hey, what the hell, man? You're supposed to be protecting them from me! Nelson, I got access to the Seattle Police Database. Turns out, the UP has eyes and ears everywhere. Well, let's gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. Not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movement. Mobile command center, got it. So, what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communication gear on top. Alright, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. If you blow out enough of those, the core should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels, got it. Short and sweet. You find the main power core? It should be on top.
You must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. Identify! That's you, big fella. Oh, crap. Well, did it work? Uh, no time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. All right, Reg, I hate to ask, but any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? Yeah, well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them since the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? So you can keep tapping them for more powers? No. Forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and... Get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg, you're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in Salmon Bay for the rest of your life. Wow, not sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. Hey, Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. You're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking skills. This is gonna be awesome. Look out below! Not bad, huh? Hey, you wanna see it again? You think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why would people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, that can't be it. No secondhand smoke is bad for you. Jesus, 
man. How many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make them underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit them. Why? Spoil the surprise when it happened. <laughs> Good point. Reg, they got checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. The benefit of having home field advantage. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that. Okay, so that way is not an option. This better work. That was awesome! It freaking worked! Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, I need more! No, man, that's all you get. I mean, this bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You, you need to find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with the detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Hey, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Okay, Delson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Okay, Reg, I'm here, and you were right. The Needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and... What looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. It's a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. <laughs> hey, Reg. Hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what-if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh my god, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. Well, I suppose that... Hypothetically, theoretically, it could be you can only drain powers from a conduit who has them naturally. A prime conduit, like Hank, or hopefully Augustine. I mean, the DUP guys got all their weaker powers from Augustine, so maybe they can't pass them on, even to you. So you're saying we have to keep going? Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Trust your brother a little more than that, will you? Man, this stuff's even uglier from the inside. Looking forward to taking this stuff down. Hey there. It's Betty. Where are you? Oh, hi, Betty. I'm at the Space Needle. Oh, I'll, I'll try back later then. Bring me a postcard. <laughs> okay, if the gift shop's open. Bye, Betty. Bye bye, kid. Oh, okay, not a good time to plummet. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. I haven't seen you before. Reg, man, they got a small army up here. Good. Think they're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place.
This is going to be epic! It goes away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Did you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the space needle, man! You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. You see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. It's cool. What's the symbol supposed to mean? Not sure. The banner man got away before the dupe reinforcements got here. Delson, I've been asking around about the escaped bioterrorists. Do you think I maybe need like a PR guy? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, people here are starting to call me the banner man, which A is unbelievably lame. Uh, maybe not the best idea you hanging around the Space Needle right now. Well, I mean, why not Smoke-tastic man, or, or, hell, just the smoker? Look, I'll keep trying to get a lead on the escape bioterrorists. Why don't you see if you can disrupt other DUP operations around there until I get back to you? All my fault! Banner man. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Yeah, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? A bio terror? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right. They just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous? Yeah. Listen, Delson, it, it's gonna be police officers at this crime scene, okay? Not DUPs. Now, I'm here to support you, but killing cops. I got it, I got it. I'll put my phasers on stun. Okay, I did it your way. I'm past your boys in blue. Thank you. Although, what's the use of having smoke powers if you're not gonna use them? Ah, there's my baby brother. Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very... showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. 
There's your wounds. I wonder what kind of power did this? Fire blast or lasers? Ooh, what about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? <sighs> Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. Bro, you really need to let that go. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. My chances are there's gonna be a lot of DUP there with shoot-to-kill orders. Wow. Well, hate to interrupt this little pep talk, but you got any luck with that first victim on your face database thing? No, nothing. The victim must not have had a record. Huh. From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two. No, it's get the conduit! Jeez, and good luck with that. Well, this conduit sure got a certain style. Kind of nouveau sick. Okay, I just need... Let me guess, face and wounds. If it's not too much trouble. All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. The guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for his stash. Might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Holy sh Holy what? What holy? Delson, are you okay? Yeah. Well, wait, 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 don't impale me. Be I careful. come in real original advice. It's okay. It's okay. I'm one of you. I mean, one of us. Down? I'm not gonna hurt you. God, especially if you don't slow down. Stop! Come back! Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like, like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh eating death gaze. I want that. Oh, don't be greedy. Funny thing, man. I just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. Must be his power source. Head back to the sign, see what you can find. You should see what this guy can do, man. Like lasers or something. I'm telling you, it would be great to have a one two punch like that and smoke when I get to Augustine. Take it easy. We've got to find him again first. All right, I'm here. Any idea what I should be looking for? Just. Anything that might help with who our sniper is. Ooh. 
Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? <laughs> you should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What? What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay. Look, just send me photos of anything you think might help. Okay, those definitely very likely belong to a woman. Like you know. I wonder who Brent is. I can't help you there. Okay. See how you might think those are women's shoes? Yeah, they're like size negative. Like seriously? A serial killer who reached Jane Eyre? Oh, totally. Jane Eyre is like the female catcher in the rye. So, anything else interesting? Relax, I'm looking. I guess this counts as interesting. It's interesting, all right. You know, it's a long shot, but maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, we'll get lucky. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, put on light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. Well, it's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. <sighs> sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. You're saying, what, the DUP is trying to scare people? I mean, their job is to control the panic. All right, I'm at the alley, but there's a bunch of heavily armed dudes here. I think a drug deal's going down. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I didn't say kill them, just rough them up. Scare them a little. Destroy their staff. Delson, I heard shots. Did you kill them? Hey, I was trying to do my duty as a citizen, man, but they were trying to do their duty as criminals. Fretch. You should see this, man. Speedy Gone Crazy is a tagger. She's a pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? Pretty damn good one, too. You gotta admit, girl makes a mean vortex. You really shouldn't leave lit candles unattended. She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. Yeah, well, there's good touching and bad touching. And now we come to the highlight of the tour. Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day, while she chowders down. 
You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. He's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. What's the name of that book? You know, the one that says, uh, let he who is without sin cast the first stone? Radical. Wow, I'm impressed with your impulse control. Um, but maybe you should wait up by the neon sign. Yeah? I'd be less conspicuous that way. Besides, she'll probably head there to recharge. Yeah, plus there's probably less people I want to kick the crap out of up there. That too. It, it was the Bible. By the way, when I was quoting, it was the Bible, if you were, if you were wondering. I wasn't. Okay, this is good. Surveillance. Hobo style. I take some cash off those dealers. Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, money. Come to me. Let's bond. No! It's okay! God. This again? Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. Just leave me alone! She's too fast! Speed of light, baby! Come on, Jelson! Pick it up! Damn, she's fast! They all deserved it! I am not going back to Gordon K! You've got to calm down, all right? Just relax. They're not taking Just me wanna... back! I am not going back to Gordon K! You listen to me? I'm not with Augustine! You one of a goddamn robot! How many times? Wait. Are there really robots? Come on, Towers, I know you're in there. Surprise me. Oh, I am Stop so it! gonna use this! I am not going back! Ugh! <sighs> 
As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats, and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal, agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... The government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent, I promise. Every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Joseph. Joseph, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, you did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. If she stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction. Doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! Should be my responsibility. Yeah, because responsibility is not exactly something you excel at. I got this. Fine. I'm here for the tribe, not the Holland bioterrorists. I'm a conduit. He's cool. He's normally cool. He's just not today. Yeah. Let's talk. All right, Reg, sorry. I... Oh, look who it is. What, is the meeting of the Conduit Club finally over? I just wanted to talk to her, okay? To see if maybe she could help us out? Oh, you are not doing the pouting Reggie thing, are you? You know I hate that. Look, you know someone like that shouldn't be free to roam the streets. Uh, are you forgetting who else is someone like that? Not the same. You're different. Yes, I know. I'm your brother. And your brother is asking for your help and trying to stay alive. If you won't do it for me, then do it for the tribe. Fine, what do you need? Thank you. I need to see what else this new power can do, and you are my go-to guy when it comes to finding the core relays. There, I sent it. For the tribe and you. Thank you. I'll let you know what I get. No, I don't want to know what 
what you get. Goodbye, pouting Reggie. Hey, Fetch, you know those glowing boxes the dupes put up all over town? Yeah, I've seen them. I think they can track us with them. Well, I think I figured out a way to use them to, like, tap into more powers for me. I was gonna try it out on the new neon power you gave me. Gave you? And I thought maybe you'd like to tag along, you know, maybe talk me through the new stuff. I already bagged my dealer limit for the day, so why the hell not? And there's my sweet girl. Screw you. Okay, there's supposed to be one of those things at, uh, second in Maine. Yeah, I've seen it before. Meet you there. Hey, Fetch, it's over here. Yeah, I'm cool. Kind of which trackers and me don't get along. Well, wait till you see this. That don't seem like such a good idea. You're on your own, D. Happened, I hey, uh, you guys seen a girl, kind of short, purple hair? Oh, just winged him. You're welcome. No mercy. Shoot to kill. Hey, I heard gunfire. Don't do those things can track you. No, I think they were just on patrol. Well, I found another one. I left you signs to find it. See it? It's a neon marker. Uh, yeah, got it. Just follow those. Hey, Fetch. Just stumbled across a bit of your handiwork. Think maybe you want to dial it down a notch? Gotta feed the fury, dude. <laughs> or maybe you don't feed the fury. It'll starve to death and you become a people person. Like me. Or Maybe you can bite me. Yeah, take that, you poison peddling garbage. It's what you deserve. Hey, Smokes, you want in on this? Yeah, yeah, you still need help? Don't need it, but I'll take it. Okay, I think I got the next one. Just keep following the markers. So, uh, how'd you like killing those dealers? That's a fuzzy jolt, ain't it? I just taught him a lesson and left him to think things over. I didn't kill him. Hey, we have powers. They don't. Means we have to be the better people. Cut him a little slack now and think about it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, there it is. Go ahead and get your convulsion on. You first. What? I lost smoke? Well, what's the point of getting new powers if you have to trade in the old ones? Okay, time to pick up the trail. Fetch, I uh, see you started taking these dealers down alive. Can't help but think I had something to do with that. Yeah, all you egomaniacs think you're the reason for everything that happens in the world. No, I don't think I'm the reason for everything. I mean, just your highly visible change in behavior, that's all. Whatever 
that was, I heard it from here. You know, anytime you want to actually hang around for one of these things... I've been thinking about what you said before. About the drug dealers on the street. Oh, yeah? The way I see it, going after those ass gum dealers is just small time. But going up the food chain a little, finding the supplier, that'll change things. Well, I'd be glad to tag along next trip you make up the food chain. Just I don't think I've ever actually changed anything before. Sure. It'll be a date with a death toll. I'll give you a call if anything comes up. to see and your powers to steal. Okay, promise you won't be mad. But th the good news is you can start without me. Oh, face the danger alone? Gee, that is good news. Listen, I found out a major drug shipment came in a couple days ago and it's stored on some boats there at the marina. Alright, on some boats at a marina. It's all the details I need. It's a big shipment, so it'll probably be houseboats. And this group uses a dolphin as sort of their mark, so I look for anything on a boat with a dolphin on it. Better. But don't wait for me. You never know when they'll start offloading that stuff. So what held you up? Girl stuff. Ew, what kind of girl stuff? Putting some serious hurt on this drug dealing scumbag until he sold out his friends and told me all about this goddamn drug shipment. Fetch, I'm on the docks. And I'm here on the roof. What, you couldn't wait a few more minutes? <sighs> this is why I hate working. like a pair of size yeah thanks got it yeah drugs hey fetch I'm gonna tag all the boats with drugs to make it easier for you to know which one to take out man can't you ever go like five minutes without tagging stuff there you go made it easy for you No wonder it took me so long. Fetch, you said dolphin, but clearly uh, this is a porpoise. It's a common mistake. This is why I hate working with boys. Wait, I heard something. You didn't tell me there'd be girls at this party. So I heard. Dealers must be using their hookers as human shields. It's supposed to be a pretty big shipment. Gotta be at least one more boat that's holding. Hello? Any women of ill repute being held hostage on this boat against their will? Coming.
So, ready to storm the castle? I say we wait him out. Make him come to us. Oh, good. Sit and wait. My favorite strategy. And why don't you join me on the roof here and enjoy the fireworks? I'm about to light up all the drug boats. No kidding. You ready? Let's light up the bay. Well, that's three less evil dolphin boats in the world. Three less porpoise boats. Don't worry, it's a common mistake. D, wake up. They're on the move. Probably moving some stuff to their main location. We should follow them. Let them lead us to it. We should stick to the rooftop so we don't spook them. You just gotta be careful not to lose them. Hey, Fetch, can I ask you a personal question about that DUP detention center? Curtin K? Yeah, that's the one. No. I mean, what do you want to know? There were maybe four, maybe five hundred of us. A few of us were separated out, given special training. I was the one who separated. Seven years separated, you know? Curtin K was hell. It was also home. Actually, I was just gonna ask if it had a pool. You're a jackass, you know that? <laughs> yeah, so I've heard. They pulled into the alley. This must be the place. All right, so what's the plan? Uh, get them? Get them isn't a plan. Let's go. Yes, the bad men are gone. Go. Live. Love. Just not professionally. If you want to get clean, now's the time. There won't be any more drugs on the street. Don't screw it up. And they're gone. Do you think a couple of low-life bioterrorists will ever get thanked for saving people? Yeah. I think you might have saved me. Oh. So what, are you gonna give up on your whole ritualistic murdering of drug dealers? It's like half your charm. Oh, yeah? What's the other half? Actually, that was it. You just the one charm. Don't worry, I'm not giving up on my passions. Just finding some new ones. Oh! Like boxing. Oh. <laughs> Is that like your whole attempt at a tender moment? Ugh. You are a sentimental psychopath, aren't you? Come on, let's just get the rest of these drugs in the harbor. Maybe we can get a few fish strung out. Man, hook a dolphin. Hey. Uh, you like me. I gotta go hook up with the other woman in my life. <laughs> Augustine, what does she have that I don't? Concrete power? <laughs> you guys, I'll answer the same thing. By the way, I think your brother would have been real proud of what you did. I mean, killing the dealers, destroying the drugs, and freeing the sex slaves, right? Of course. Well, I'm sure he would have loved me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think.
think if he'd have seen me with those boats and drugs and dealers, he'd have been proud of his kid, sis. We done good, Z. I'd like to see those lion-ass TV talkers make this look bad. Bad move, man. This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> Automatic turrets! This is so cheating! Ha-ha-ha! Uh -huh. Turns out their Achilles heel is up their asses. <laughs> Knew you could do it, D. Just gotta keep leapfrogging these auto turds. Man, these things are relentless! Fetch, just left a trail of bodies and bolts across this bridge. Fetch, goddamn girls in their short. Of <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> Lady, you are hell on bridges. You know that? So you recognize me? Oh yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just let me walk away. You've changed since then. You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. I, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's, that's doing nothing for me. <laughs> You're a big fella. I must say, so far I'm not impressed. See? That wasn't so hard. I thought so. I just had to see it for myself. I hope you realize how special you are. Now finish the big country of off so we can talk. Well, the bigger they are, the smaller I feel. <laughs> now I know your weakness. So maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you. That's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends. Yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. Since you'd be useless to me back in your little hovel, how about you stay here with me? I kind of like my idea better. Dyson. You disappoint me. No. Whoa! Go 
Hold down. Hold down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, the Lantern District, where I was headed all along. Just took the scenic route. Hey, uh, uh, is this Delson Rowe? Yeah, who's this? Oh, see, I'm just a huge fan of your work. That tag you put on the needle, seize control, right? See, I get what you're doing. The whole give power to the powerless thing, and I want to help. Okay. Well, if you want to help, you can help me find one of the escaped conduits who might be here in the Lantern District. Oh. Well, why do you want him? Or, or her? I just want to shake his or her hand. Okay. Well, I've heard the DUP's planning to take all the suspected conduits they've routed up and move them to this holding facility they built downtown. Convoy's supposed to come right through the Lantern District, cutting across the I-90 overpass. Okay. You happen to know if any of these people have actual powers? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, totally. Absolutely... Yes. Huh. Well, thanks. Uh, I I'm sorry, man. What'd you say your name was? It's, uh, it's, it's Eugene. It's a dorky name, I know. <laughs> hey, my mom got Delson off of an old western. Hey, Eugene, I'm thinking the easiest thing to do here is somehow drop the road a little. You know, pull the rug out from underneath him? Well... Could just blow it up. No, I can't take the chance it'll kill the conduit I'm looking for. I think I'm just gonna cut the supports, and the trucks will make it drop a little. Bam! Instant roadblock. Okay. See, man, this is why I'm such a big fan. I wish I could be there to see it. Well, come on out and watch. But, you know, from a safe distance, of course. Because when we conduits go to work, you mortals better give us a wide berth. Right. Uh, right. Well, uh, you know what? On second thought, then, I'm gonna stay home. I'll let you know if I find anything more about the convoy, though. Eugene, when's this convoy supposed to show up? Uh, tonight sometime? I mean, I really don't know for sure. Are you still at the overpass? Yeah, still here. Just been making friends with the locals. It doesn't seem to be any traffic up top, man. Well, yeah, because the dupes took it over. Uh, you're closed it off to citizens. So, you finish with the supports? Yep, all done. About to head topside and get ready for a little game of chicken with the dupes. Gene, talk to me, man. What am I looking for in this convoy? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're moving a lot of prisoners, so maybe look for some buses? Whoa, what was that? Uh, helicopters? Whole pack of them. I don't think they can see me in the fog.
Eugene, those buses are long gone. Any chance you know where they went? Uh, I don't know. Radio chatters all over the place. I can't figure out where they're headed. Wait, wait. You're tapped into the DUP right now? How the hell did you pull that off? Uh, just this phone app I've been tinkering with. Here, I'll send you a link. Okay, got it. Uh, so, what's it do? It's a signal tracker. You can listen in on the DUP's communication. But the cool thing is you can also use it to pinpoint the direction the signal's coming from. Man, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take this thing out for a test drive. Hey, Eugene, bro, I'm only getting a static on this thing, man. You know, there must be too many tall buildings blocking the signal. You may have to get a little higher up to get a clear shot. We drove right into a goddamn ambush. It was definitely Ro. We no, Eugene, <laughs> I got something. I told you. No idea on casualty figures, but we also lost APCs. Even had a couple... I'm telling you, whatever the hell it was is still up there. It's like nothing else I've ever heard before. Somebody must have beat me to him. Ooh, you're new. Sorry, I got other plans. I found that first bus, but it's empty. There were three on the overpass, so that means there's still two out there. Hey there, fan of mine. You still there? <laughs> One minor setback and you hang up on me. Some fan you are. <sighs> Fully charged. This is not going the way I expected. Gotta find that last bus before whatever did this does. Angels? Are you kidding me right now? So either one of those escapees can make angels, or I'm going after God. And I do not like my odds in that matchup. Hey, Delson. Look, they found one of those vests the DUP suspects wear over by Hingay Market. A uh, guy belonged to might still be there. There's lots of places to hide. Oh, thanks for the tip. So where'd you disappear to earlier, huh? Hey, well, maybe conduits don't have to go to the bathroom, but the rest of us do. How do you get all this information about what's going on? Uh, in, in the Lantern District, the walls have ears and eyes. I uh, have friends and I play them. Sounds like helpful friends. Well, I couldn't imagine better. Let's see, if I had one of these things on, I would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, 
because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me, I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks, place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. Which of you are hiding there? Don't you know those bioterrorists? Not a great start. Maybe you could teach them English! Great! Bilingual bullying. Nope. Hey, I'm not with the DUP! And I'm not a freak who goes around opening occupied porta potties! No, wait! I saw him first! These angels are quick. Hey, Delson, I'm in the Lantern District. You still here? Yeah, about time you made it across. What the hell's going on? I'll leave you on your own for a couple hours and suddenly there's angels dive bombing people. That has something to do with the conduit we're looking for. I set free a bunch of prisoners the dupes were moving. I think one of them might be our guy. Well, lucky for you, Big Brother's here. Finding escapees is what I do. Well, be on the lookout for anyone in a black and yellow vest. I saw one on the ground in uh, Hing Hang Market. Looked like a bitch to get off. Locks all over it. Gotta say, little brother, getting the hang of this manhunt thing. Maybe when we get back home, I'll deputize you. Can have a job for a change. Whoa, no thanks. One cop in the family is embarrassing enough. I'll make you a deal. We take this chase back down to the ground where it's safe, and I'll give you a 10 second head start. No, 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 don't. Oh, this catch one, man. Whoever this angel maker is, he's pissing me off. They keep grabbing all the conduits and I can't keep up. Oh, same old, same old. If the angels aren't bad enough, there's these gangs of surly dudes out hunting the Vestoids, too. Uh, those would be a current. An angry gang of bullies who like to cause trouble around the International District. You should stay clear of them. So far, so good. But these guys are real scum of the earth types. Whoa, whoa, relax. I think it's time you called in the cop, brother. Listen, meet me by the porta potty in the Hing Hay Market. Got a crazy idea. All right, I'll meet you by the port of... Listen, man, I don't know what... You can trust me. I'm a cop. You know, I've noticed you like to mention that a lot. Oh, what? What do you think? I mean, there's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. Sounds like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me, uh, shoot near me, near me, and we'll see what happens when one of the angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah. knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right. Right. Well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device. Okay. Right. But look, we got to make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, so good. God fear me! I am a bioterrorist! Run away in fear, for I have powers! Horrible! Ugly! Deep-spirited superpowers! 
Oh no. I'll never surrender! I am a bioterrorist! I eat children and kittens! Please, it, conduits don't really do that. Flee in terror, mortals! I could melt your faces with nothing more than my pinky! And cops went to bed. And we have liftoff. Hey, hey, follow my phone and don't be a dick! Hey, uh, maybe a little slower? It's my first time with an angel, you know. Wow, you angels really have soft hands. Any of the other uh, abductees tell you that? Listen, I, I just wanted to know if you know where you're going. I'm just saying we could probably stop and ask for directions. I wouldn't mind. Video angels, I should have seen that coming. like it when I shoot the screen, do ya? Was that your home? Is that where you hang your halos? Is that all you got? That's it! Fight Keep like shooting cherubim. the screen! I think it's really putting the hurt on him! Like commercials anyway. Yeah. Where did Reggie end up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Worst idea ever. Oh, what the hell? Woo. I gotta hand it to you, big brother. You make excellent live bait. God, it worked, didn't it? Ugh. Found the angel conduit slayer, now we go take him out. Ugh. Come on, you come with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. Then I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there, and that, brother, that's all you. Oh my god. Don't walk away, Mad. <laughs> you, it was your plan. <sighs> <laughs> what? <sighs> hey, Delson. Eugene, wanted to thank you for your help. Found the conduit's hideout and about to go inside. That's a bad idea. Come on, he's a conduit. It doesn't even do his own fighting. How hard can it be? No, no, really. Don't go in there. All right, I'll call you when it's over. All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay, so this is where they make angels. Hello? Anybody home? I see lots of vests, but no people wearing them. What the hell did he do with them? What I imagine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Bigger than I'd hoped. I am oh, he yeah. who dwells, yeah. and you yeah. have invaded yeah. my dominion. No one's invading your dominion, okay? I just want to share your powers. Gotta get back in there. It's all the best in your basement. What are you doing with the people your angels grab? I offer my invited guests salvation, salvation. not suffering. Not suffering. 
I need your powers! You need to read! In the penalty box. I'm not leaving until I get what I came for. I grow tired of oh, company. Oh, come Your flying nursemaids can't protect you forever, pal. You're just delaying the inevitable. At school, I always tried to blend in. To fade into the background. To disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to, to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me. But when I saw them rounding up more people who were different, I knew what she was gonna do to them, and I knew. I knew we had to stop her. Delson! Delson? Okay, that's starting to get old. Oh, it sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait. I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not going to believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. What poor thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets? Whoa, whoa, bro. Not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street yeah. against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look, fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, that's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on you, start calling you Augustine. <laughs> well, maybe next Halloween. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit. No normals allowed? Fine. If you need me, be right outside. Okay. 
Ellen, thank you for all your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait, I you already, already did. did. I know, it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so, what do you say, Eugene? You, me, a couple of conduits hit the town. You show me some of your new video tricks. I show you how to pick up some girls. Maybe rescue some of our marked brethren. I don't think so. But I still feel safer in here. Come on, man. You keep staying down here and playing angels and demons. You're never gonna get laid. Listen, man. It's your life. But there is a way for us to live out there in the real world. But it's up to us to make it happen. You think about that, you let me know, okay? Okay, little bro, I sent you a new core relay. You... Reggie, man, I need you. I... All of my powers are gone. I got nothing new from Eugene or any of the old stuff. What? what? Hey, stay where you are. I'm coming. No, no, it's, it's, it's too open here. GPS says there's, there's an alley a few blocks away. All right, I got it. I'll meet you there. Oh, they're lucky I don't have powers. Thank God you're here, Reg. I need your help. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost all of your powers? Yes, I lost all my powers. I, I, I lost smoke, I lost neon, I never even got Listen, video. this is great. This is great news, man. What the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were gonna find a cure for you and this is it. I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone. Nelson, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that. I know that, but it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just quit while you're ahead for once? Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I Wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I am going to get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole... David and Goliath throwing rock scenario. I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm gonna have any chance of getting any powers back, it's gonna be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I... I don't actually need you. I, I, I need your gun. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You are not getting my gun, and that is fine. You... <laughs> Jeez. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. <laughs> Thanks, man. I know I'm gonna regret asking, but what's new? You might want to stand back. Ah, good thing I stood back. Well, maybe the next one will have, like, projectiles or, you know, some kind of bashing. I'll call and let you know. Oh, no, I'm coming with you. No, 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 you're not. I got this. Listen, uh, unless you're planning to open the next core relay with invisibility, you still need me. Besides, you don't know where it is. I guess if you got stuck with only one power, invisibility isn't so bad. <laughs> no kidding, right? I've been planning what I would do if I could turn invisible since I hit puberty. And this conversation is now over. There it is. Okay, Reg, why don't you go ahead and cop it open? Woo 
<laughs> Jackpot! Yeah, well, I hope so, because we got a ton of DUP heading our way. <laughs> How cool is this? Delson? Hey, I say get behind cover! Reggie, you alright? Yeah, fine. Let's just get to the next core relay. Sorry, it's getting too dangerous for you to keep tagging along, little buddy. Okie dokie. Next core relay is where? Hey, remember me? The guy who knows where the next core relay is? Yeah, gonna have to put you on hold. Eugene, it's Delson. Listen, you're uh, flying friends. They've probably done some aerial recon around here, right? Yeah. Good. Then I need you to help me find something. You know those glowing boxes the dupes put up around town? Uh, sure, hold on. Hey, there's one not far from you. Thanks. Oh, hey, uh, I've seen a couple of those suspected bioterrorists still getting harassed on the streets. What do you say? I got this new sword, we can help them out. How cool is that sword, right? I know, right? So, you interested? No, that, that's okay. I've got level 11 angels waiting for me in the Valley of Death. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think it, and I create it. Well, darn. Gene, I know you'd rather be alone with your demons, but I just got ambushed by dupe snipers. You're gonna have to pitch in here, bud. Uh, that's okay. I'm good. But I'll send some angels. I... I, I meant to ask uh, about the girl. Uh, the one on the bus. Is she okay? Oh, fetch? Yeah, uh, she's great. Ow. Okay. No, listen, man. She is way out of your league, okay? I mean, you gotta learn to crawl before you can hop aboard the rocket sled. Oh. Uh, did that guy, uh, the one who caused the crash, did he get away? Hank? Uh... Hank... Augustine got... killed him. Really? Wow. And on the bus, all he talked about was getting home to his little girl. Don't worry. I'll be dealing with Augustine soon enough. Oh, nice to have a few wingmen this time around. Well, let's see, I can disappear, stab, and run. <laughs> Not exactly a great anti-aircraft strategy. Going. This is the fun part! Sweet! Hey Eugene, not to sound ungrateful, but you think maybe next time you could send less cowardly demons? I thought you just wanted them to warn you. Another one. Good. It's not too far from here. Thanks. Oh, hey, Delson. Look, there's a bunch of dupes headed for the same place you are. But, but don't worry, you'll have some help when you get there. Hey, nice to hear you got your boys to sack up this time. You tell them to bring whatever they got, because I'm going to need help here.
do the job? How is that bad news? There's a bunch of DUP in that area. But maybe you've already got enough powers. Look, why take the risk when we don't even know what you'll get? Hey, 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 don't you gene out on me, okay? We set our minds to it. There's nothing a couple of young stud conduits and a buttload of angels and demons can't accomplish. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about stud. I'll call you when I get there. Okay, Eugene, here's the plan. I'm gonna sneak around to the side while- Yahoo! Okay. Come on, Eugene, you can do better than this, you conduit stud, you. All right, fellas, let's win one for the gamer. Just what I thought, this couldn't get more awesome! Comes heaven, hell, and Delson. Oh man, Eugene, you've been holding out on me. Uh, you know, just something to think about. Heaven, hell, Delson, and Eugene. No, no, no. You want the billing? You got to get out here and get your hands dirty. I, I don't know. I'm not very good with people. Shut up. You're great with people. Didn't you hear the guy you just saved shouting, "Eugene is the best"? How did he know my name? Hell if I know, man. Maybe you ask the next one in person. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to help out a few more people. Atta boy! You just let me know when you're ready. Reg, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, man. I... First of all, I'm glad to hear you're still alive. And second of all... But wait till you see what I can do, man. I've got swords and I've got missiles and demons swooping down from the sky. Yeah, sounds dangerous and stupid. And I guess maybe a little bit cool. Thank you! I can just hardly wait to use this on Augustine. So, uh, you think you can help me out with something? I've been monitoring their signals, and I think the Akuras are up to something big. Yeah, sure, man, I'm on board. Great. Uh, meet me at my Dominion, and we'll work out a plan. Gene, open up, it's me! Hey, Delson! Did you move the clubhouse? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. All right, stealth, what's the plan? Uh, you know all those suspected bioterrorists we freed from the DUP? Well, I actually remember it being a rescue party of one, but go on. Uh, it turns out the Akuran gang's been rounding them up and holding them at a construction site near here. They're planning to sell them back to the DUP. Great. Why don't we go get them? Well, uh, don't worry. I'm sending my friends to get you there. And by friends, I hope you mean an army of Archangels and not Melvin and Lenny from your D&D &D group? I don't have a D&D group. Gee, seriously, man, you've got to lighten up. Okay, buddy, I'm here. Where are your friends? Uh, they're on their way, but you need to check the interior of the site, and they're not so good in enclosed spaces. Angels are claustrophobic. Great. Anything else I should know about my backup? Uh, they're not so great in water either. Well, that makes two of us. Video. Why not? As long as I'm here. Damn. 
Those Akurans are good at hiding people. Whoa, whoa, wait, I'm hearing choppers, man. Get to the roof. DUP helicopters are picking up shipping containers there. And the conduits must be inside. Too late. No, no, see my angels? I'll have them keep the helicopters close enough to the roof so you can jump on the containers. Oh, sure. Just jump on the moving shipping containers four stories off the ground. <laughs> you see, this is the kind of fun stuff you miss when you stick to the shadows. Once you're on a container, just break the winch attaching them to the choppers. My angels can catch the containers as they fall. Solid plan. Just don't shoot my angels. They're the only thing keeping those containers in reach. It's not crazy to be awesome. Hey, Angels, heads up! And that's the last of them! Delson, that last container's on the ground in Denny Park. Converging on it now. You can't let them get those conduits. I am not letting you have these people. Gene, you got any more angels you can send my way? Uh, yeah, look, but it might take a while. Nah, uh, I haven't got a while. Gonna use up all the ones I got in about two minutes. No, 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 this isn't supposed to happen. Don't flake on me now, man. Uh, I, I, look, I, I can't, I can't, can't do this anymore. I definitely felt that. Behold, for I have come. Eugene, buddy, please tell me that's you. Now prepare to feel the wrath of heaven's fire. Oh, you guys are gonna hate this. Okay, Teen Angel, soften them up for you. Eugene, when this whole thing is over, you think you can teach me how to do that? You are not worthy! You turn into a real ass when you're an angel, you know that? What took you? Well, look who decided to join the real world. Yeah, you convinced me. Figured I'd give people one more chance. Well, on behalf of people, thank you. Yeah, well, worst that can happen, they let me down again. I ran Hellfire on their asses. Oh. There you go, kid. Happy thoughts. Well, Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. And now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. Well, hope they don't mind if I take a look. It sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. You worry too much. Hey, Reg, did I ever tell you how great the views are from up here? Eyes on the prize, brother. We'll sightsee later, yeah?
damage. There's scorch marks everywhere. Looks like my handiwork. Ah, so there's another smoke conduit. Shouldn't surprise you. There's not just one of each. I don't know. I guess I was just hoping for something new. Show me what you mean by handiwork. Hey man, they do the same thing to me. A DUP helmet. Still working? Reg, this conduit man, they're saying it's that guy, Hank. Well, I, I thought you said she killed him back in Salmon Bay. She did, or I thought she did. I mean, I saw her kill him. I mean, he's dead, I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay, Reggie, I'm gonna admit it. I was wrong. You can keep that. A little early Christmas gift for you. Hey, Delson, you gotta call a girl when you decide to go on a rampage in downtown. Uh, that's not me. I got a great view of somebody smoking the hell out of Duke Choppers. But you can see them? Where are you? On top of a building, near 12th and Union. Why do you care about this guy? You already got smoke. Because I think this might be the guy who was on that transport with you, the one I got my powers from. You mean that big sweaty guy, Hank? Yes, and if he busted out of Augustine's tower, then maybe he can help me figure out a way to break in. Why don't you come with me and help? No. No, that guy is bad news. I think I'll just, you know, sit back and watch the fireworks. Delson, just watch yourself. I don't trust the bald redneck. Sure, but I'm not exactly helpless, all right? Besides, he and I have got something in common. Got no love for August. Yeah. Good luck. Reg, I got eyes on him. He's on a rooftop downtown fighting off choppers. All right, but listen to me. Don't let the DUP catch him. All right, I got it. And don't let them kill him either. And don't you kill him. But don't let him get away. Jeez, man, it's a lot to remember. Reg, I'm on the roof. Hank? Uh, isn't. You lost him? No, I didn't lose him. I'm just keeping my distance. On purpose? He can practically fly, man. Yeah, so can you. In three languages. <laughs> Hank, wait! I'm not gonna hurt you! I just need your... Oh, never mind. I already have that. Hank! Come on, man! I don't want to do this! Then stop! Hank, I need your help! Hank, go to get it! I'm warning you, kids! Back the hell off! Make me! Hank? How, how the hell did you get this number? You listed. Sorry about the thing with the sucker punch before, but uh, I knew there was no talking to you till you calmed down. You calm down? I swear, man, when I get my hands on you, I'm... I'll call you back in a half hour. No, 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 wait. I'm, I'm calm. You sure? So far, you've been all about chasing and shouting and wailing away at me. I'm gonna take Augustine down, but I need your help to do it. I could sign on for something like that. Great. Then we should... Hold on. The DUP guys around here are scrambling. Something's up. I'll check it out and I'll call you back. Reggie, it's me. 
Delson, thank God. You just appeared on me. Sorry, look, I caught up with Hank. He wants to work with us to get to Augustine. What? No, I, I'm not so sure that's a good idea, man. Come on, you know what, big brother? You worry too much. Yeah, maybe you just don't worry enough. Listen, be careful and watch your back. You worry too much. Or not enough. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you was chasing me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before... Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just gonna say... You clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape our tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You gotta shut down. But it ain't gonna do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up and half the DUP forces standing guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen, we both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants, but we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here, where we stand a chance. Uh, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got them. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. Guess you needed to reel them in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending them out to that big concrete platform that DUP built between the two islands. Well, then we gotta help them. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they... I heard, I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in Delson, the... Delson, I've been thinking, there have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg. We're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, all right? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie, I... I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. And Delson, watch out for Hank. I don't trust him. Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so... What's cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's, he's here for me. So, what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer a boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? Because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it. Too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, boy. Now listen, we get out there and start making noise, Augustine will come running. Come on, I know a way into the island we won't be seen. You explain what happened. I saw Augustine kill you back in... You saw her shut me up was what you saw. Big difference. Shouldn't have brought the cop, man. That's a mistake. Huh, funny. Said the same thing about you. Here she is. We pop in here, she'd come out smack dab in the middle of the thing. You sure about this? Hey, when I was in that tower, I saw things. One more thing. They got one of them drone things out there. The ones you get powers from. You know about that. Sure would be nice to get a new power before stomping on Augustine. Let's go. Okay, here's the plan. We start cracking these support pillars, they feel the rumbling, and the guards come down to check it out. We'll take them out, and Augustine will come running. 
Gotta be fast. That's some pretty thick concrete. Gonna take both of us working together, but we should be able to give them a jolt. Hey, let's give it a shot. Ha <laughs> ha, what'd I tell you? Sorry I didn't trust you, man. Damn straight! You to tangle with me. I cannot believe we're cracking these things. Save some for the dupes, kid. You about ready for a new power? Look, look how, how did you come on? She should be here any minute. Hurry over here and let's see what powers you get. What? All of a sudden you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Hank! Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch! I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Oh, lady. When my brother finds out what you did, oh, he is gonna... He's gonna what? No! <sighs> oh, you could have hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up! Come over here, I'll get those cuffs off you. This way, I'll cover you. Reg, she's still alive. She's gonna come back and I can't use any powers with this concrete crap on. What the hell happened? It's a trap, man. Hank let us out here so Augustine could kill us. I told you. God, I just don't understand why he would do that to us. Because he's a bad guy. And bad guys do bad things. They have superpowers, but it wouldn't hurt you to kill them. Okay, get up here. I'm trying. What the hell? I got him. Sorry, I'm not a grenade. You have to do this the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. Lynch. I knew we couldn't trust him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh-huh. Well, as long as we are here, I guess we should save those two people. How are you gonna get us out of here? I'm gonna have to shoot you down. Sounds like a plan Cop Man would come up with. Actually, I'm starting to like Cop Man. Why shooting? What the oh, crap? Look out! Stop! No! Uh -huh. Leave my brother alone, you bitch! Oh, dear God! Reggie! Nelson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, can we can't this. let can this, this stuff get to you two. David, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No!
battle between the DUP and a small group of bioterrorists. You can see the last of the massive structure built by the DUP as it sinks into the icy waters of Puget Sound. Eyewitnesses tell us that the only survivor was DUP head Brooke Augustine, last spotted heading in the direction of the concrete tower that has served as her headquarters since the DUP arrival nearly two weeks ago. But so far, our efforts to reach Miss Augustine have produced no response. And now we're getting reports of scattered demonstrations by local citizens in support of the DUP, demanding that the bioterrorist uprising in Seattle be ended by any means necessary. For US TV, this is Kurt Wyatt, reporting live from Seattle. I'm sorry, man. You knew. You told me not to trust Tank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, this son of a bitch is not dead. Where is Hank Daughtry? I know he made a deal with Augustine. Now, where is he? One breathing to answer the question. At least I know he's alive. Just gotta find him. Wait a minute, he called before. His number's gotta be in the incoming call log. Gotcha. Here for Hank. God damn, never should have trusted you guys. Where the hell you at? There's been a complication. Hold your position. May be behind schedule, but your party at the Atkinson has been notified. Hank! You there? I'm not afraid of you, Hank! That I'm not the conduit you were expecting. Locate the signal again. And what makes you think a bioterrorist scum like you can leave this city alive? We had a deal. No, you had a deal with my boss, who's not here now. But the guys who are here enlisted to hunt down you bioterrorists, not help them escape after they sell out their own time. I've done what you asked. You gotta keep your promise. My promise? I've already lost seven of my buddies here in Seattle to you bioterrorist scum. I made a promise that I'd hunt down and kill every one of you sons of bitches. That's the promise I've got to keep. When Augustine finds out you went back on our deal... Miss Augustine makes deals with bioterrorist scum up there alone in her tower. I can't believe 
believe this. Gotta be getting close. Guess I'll give this tracker one more shot. into a marina, running out of dry land. That said, me and old Hank are about to meet up again. You son of a bitch. She killed Reggie. I, I didn't know, I swear to God. You didn't know? You set us up! She said she wasn't gonna hurt you! She promised she's just gonna talk! Wouldn't you believe her? She got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit! My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you! She had my daughter. Why don't you just come with us? Just disappear. Stay safe, Hank. I'm coming, honey! Let's go home! It's time to get what I came for, Augustine. Citizens of Seattle, it's time to take back our city from those who seek to destroy it. Violent terrorists have no place on our streets. They must be locked away, far from all decent, normal people, for the good of society. Are you kidding me? I'm the one who's been protecting society from her and her army of freaks! It has come to my attention that the bioterrorist Delson Rowe has begun another rampage. His past terrorist groups have resulted in the deaths of hundreds of loyal BUP guardians and our fellow Seattleites. It's not a terror spree if I'm saving the innocent and sparing your horde of killers. Good people of Seattle, I implore you, do not allow Delson Rowe to Delson Rowe has already Maybe a neighbor, maybe even a family member. Delson Rowe has countless numbers of my bravest men. DUP soldiers who gave their lives to save yours. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. Delson Rowe must be brought to justice. Whatever it takes. Oh, you got it backwards, Augustine. These people have seen us both in action. They want justice? It won't be my head on the platter. This is it, Del. Don't you shut the defenses down. There's no turning back. So what's the plan, Conduit? You're gonna take her alive, show the world what she's done, or just kill her for what she did to Reggie? Okay, lady. Time for the world to see what you really are. Shh. <laughs> 
Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. They're everywhere! That's a setback! Hey D, saw a trail of bodies over in Pioneer. Thought of you and followed them. Happy to see me? I had that covered, you know. Oh, I know, but the hell you did. So this means you're along for the ride? You kidding? My two favorite people in the world in a knockdown drag out? Wouldn't miss it for the world. There you go. More smoke toys. Your lifesaver. Hey, Fetch! This would be a good time for some backup! Ask and ye shall receive! Eugene! Man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places. Easy on the trash talk, Eugene! Looks like it's time to pull out the new tricks. Looks like the whole roof's armor plated. Let me try the high beams on it. Uh, you sure you can cut through? Yeah, if you and Teen Angel there can keep the dupes off my ass. Fear not, Fear not. I shall protect you. How's it coming, Fetch? Don't rush me, D. I don't like being rushed. Got it. All yours, D. You go inside and grab Augustine. Eugene and I will keep these guys off your back. Go forth and enter the dominion of Augustine. The lady and I will cover you. Oh good, you're here. I've been watching you, Delson Rowe. Testing you while you assembled your little bag of tricks. Very impressive. Yeah? I know all about what you did, too. Using Hank to set up that crash. Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters just so you could look like the hero. Someone has to protect the conduits. Protect? <laughs> In the seven years since my DUP took over conduit oversight from the military, not a single one of our kind has been killed. No, of course not. Because you just hunt them down and lock them up. Yes, in Curtin K. Protected. 
from the mobs that want to kill conduits. It's what's best for them, whether they know it or not. <laughs> you just make that decision for him, huh? Some decisions are too important. I've seen how people look at you in the street. Do you know how rare it is? For the powerless to embrace a conduit? You've got to use that popularity, that trust, to convince them that the only solution to the bio-terrorist menace is my DUP. Did you know that over half the conduits who died in the bloodbath seven years ago were killed by the military? If they regain control, what makes you think things won't return to those good old days? No. No, I'm gonna expose you. And your deception. And then we'll see who the real protector is. That would be a death sentence for all conduits. I can't let you do that. And I won't let you stop me. my power you got it seven years ago my unit was there to save lives from a new threat conduits people with powers that no one understood they had the power to kill And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one, but they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks, hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years, I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? 
You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. If you turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice. Oh, you see? Could use some help! Can't do anything! I need a blast core! Oh. Okay, Delson. I'll see what I can find. Just hang on! a need.
cold that hurts. When the dust finally settled, all you could see of Augustine were her eyes peering out from that concrete shell. The rage that had filled them moments earlier was now replaced by fear. We dismantled the fortress she had built, the army she had raised, the future she had planned. The entire world was about to know that she had failed. Taken down by a gamer, a junkie, and a small town delinquent. The crowds cheered as Augustine was hauled away. Before all this, no one would have imagined that humans and conduits could coexist. And now I was the guy kicking off the second age. Oh, and those conduits who'd spent years locked inside the walls of Curtin K? They were soon to be free once again, to live their own lives, to choose their own futures. As for me, I'd gotten what I came for. And now, now I had a promise to keep. Betty. Dawson. You're here. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. A promise is a promise, right? Huh. And the others? I just got here. You're my first stop. You saved me. Comish. We take care of our own, right? Where's Reggie? Reggie, uh... Reggie saved me. I'm sure gonna miss you.